Good morning, North Carolina Pepper here. Um, I decided to pull out the spare security camera system that I use to keep an EMP storage, and then I'll I'll get another one, a better one for EMP. But this is like the first one I had, so it's kind of cheap. Um, there was somebody nosing around the apartment last night, and the dog got all butt hurt, so it's time to get this ready to go. It's a very very simple one. Um, I bought this on eBay. It's about two hundred dollars, I guess. It's got, I think, 50 foot cable runs with ballums, I guess. And then I got um, this coax, it's web based, all kinds of stuff. Even got door cams here, but I don't know if I'll use those or not. I don't really care for them. Or people cams, but I think these are Harbor Freight cameras that I originally got on here. And some I had to deactivate the IR because they can go through the glass windows. But it's um you know it's all remote controlled. I'm gonna set this up and put it in the in the safe, and that way it'll act like a dryer in there. Plus, you don't want anybody in your safe anyway, or moisture because things in there will rust. Um, I'll be back with the name. It doesn't really say the brand. Some generic brand. I don't know which one brand it is. Okay, these are the Harbor Freight cameras. So I'll have to get back to you on that stuff, on the brand and stuff. Golems. Things. All right. So I'm going to hook all this up. Uh, it can be accessed via the web or Wi-Fi, so I'll be able to watch it on my phone. If I'm out of town or if there's a power out, I'll put this thing on an alternate power supply or a UPS backup. And we'll get everything set here. And um, let me figure out how I'm going to hang it up and everything. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how I how everything works. All right. Okay, here, okay, here we have a uh, a picture of what's called a step or stepper bit. This is what I used to drill the hole in the side of the safe. This this took about a minute to get about a one inch hole or so through a uh, eighth inch uh, mild steel, so it took a while. Um, okay, then then here is where I've got the grommet in the hole because it was kind of sharp, and I rounded it out a little bit as best I could, but. I just wanted to use a grommet so it wouldn't fray any of my cables over time. And here's the inside of the grommet, inside the safe, and uh, here's where I have a little problem. So it looks like the carpeting in here is sprayed on with a spray adhesive, so I got a lot of metal trapped in the, the spray adhesive down there. So it's kind of sticky, but, you know, that's okay, because I covered it back over the carpet. Okay, here is the outside of the cabinet to bottom some cables coming out. They were pretty tight. Um, here's an inside view of them off the bottom. And then, then here's, you know, an overview of the cable run. This is a close-up of the cable run. And this is with everything, you know, just before I tighten down the zip ties in there. This is the view of uh, the, everything in its place where it's going to go. Okay, it looks like for whatever reason I didn't hit record. I thought I did. When I was drilling and anchoring the safe, so this first thing is called a, a hollow punch. It lets it let me put the safe where I wanted, and then I marked it with a dry erase mark, marker, and then I pulled the safe back out. I had the marks on the floor, and I uh, I took this thing and, and smacked it with a hammer, and the hollow punch cut out perfect little circles out of the carpet. Because if you try to drill through carpet, it'll tangle and snag. Another thing I could have did, but I didn't, but I could have is cut a square but only on three sides and then fold flip it up a little bit and then drill through the concrete um, carpet but I didn't do that I did the hole punch or the uh, hollow punch and saved the disc and then what I did is I, I drilled another two inches deep in my um, or two and a half inches, two and a half inches deep in the bottom of my anchors or my anchor holes and then I show a little silicon in there in case I pierced all the way through the concrete, which I don't think I did, but just to prevent water from coming back up and wicking its way up to the safe if, if water rises or whatever. But it's extra deep, so when I move, or this contract's up, I can unbolt the safe, and I'll have these little bolts sticking up about a quarter inch to an inch. And then I can just take a sledgehammer or mallet or probably a sledgehammer, and beat that thing downward. If you look at the bottom, it expands when you tighten it, but you can beat it down flush with the floor, and then I can just glue the circles back on. 
and there's no noticeable marks left in the carpet other than the imprint from the safe. So that was the way I did the concrete anchors. I just drilled extra deep so I could beat them back down in the floor if I had to. So I went one and a half times the length of the concrete anchor. Um, okay, that's that. Now let's get to the other part here. All right, here's the com semi-complete installation. As far as I'm going to go with this video, um, I got cable management to do and still where to do the videos and where to put all the cameras. But basically, I got this Bunker Hill safe. And it's exactly the safe from Harbor Freight. It's about $200. Um, I didn't video the part of where I uh, anchored it to the floor, but I'll do a diagram to show you how that's all done. So we open this up. <clears throat> oh, wait, first, um, there's a UPS down there as a power supply. I didn't want to put it in the safe because it, it generates too much heat. And it's less cable to run, as you saw earlier. But if we go ahead and open this, oops, there's, the cables are all down at the bottom, all fixed in there. Okay. And let me pick my tripod again. And up here is the DVR. Now, I didn't put it in this area up here because um, it would get too hot in there, I think. And I didn't want to drill another hole for a fan. But there it is. It's all running. And I'll, I'll go back to the other one and show you. But basically, this is on the internet. It's got backup supply. You can't steal it. Uh, we drilled, we had to drill through a quarter inch steel or eighth of inch steel, I guess, on the side to get to it. This is pretty good for just out here. Um, and I can monitor this, and I'll show you on the tablet or a cell phone. You can monitor this from, a, well, in this case, I'm doing Wi Fi in case power goes out, but. I can access over the internet if I'm at my house or whatever, so let me go ahead and do this. As you see, that it's in there, it's running. Oh, the only thing I want to show is this light here. I got this at Harbor Freight. It's a little light. Um, it's a magnet, so it's kind of nice. You can just put it in your safe and have your light in there. So if you need a light in your safe... So if I have to get out some paperwork or, or whatever else is in here, who knows. But you can. And it's got the dual light on the end there. And it's got a real bright light there. And I'll just leave it, you know, up in here like that to illuminate things. So I just have to reach in and hit this little, uh, this little button on here. And this is like $2 at Harbor Freight on sale. But I'll leave that there for now. We'll go ahead and shut this. It's an executive digital safe, and it's, you know, it's good enough. It's good enough for my purposes out here anyway. And let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and um, show you how I mounted the floor in an apartment where we won't get in trouble when this contract up. So, let me show you how I did that. That's so, yeah, okay. Um, go back to my desk and I'll show you the Wi-Fi of this. Okay, so here it is set up right now. Um, I don't have this camera up, so I'm not sure where I'm putting it yet. It might be an internal camera. But here's the uh, you know the front door. Here's just out back. This is just set in a cup inside a window, not really aimed anywhere. It's going to be the garden area though. And this is the parking lot out front. So I can catch you walking up here, and then you'll over here on this camera. Um, I think I can set this for sequences, yeah. That should auto-change in a second. And if there was a video there, it would it would show it, but... That goes to that. And it goes on. And it'll repeat. And it has sound and audio. Um... You can zoom in on things. If I go up to, like, camera one. I can actually do a zoom. And look at certain things, if I want to. There's that. I think I can do that out here. It's three, no, four. So if we zoom in, we can look at all the stuff out there. Or see what's messing around. That comes up to that block light. So it's um you know it's it's not the greatest VCR and these are like some harbor freight cameras. And I'll show you how I uh, went ahead and flipped them. Uh, they're mount these two are mounted upside down. Um this one and this one are mounted upside down so I could see out and look it down. Um, 
apparently you can just flip them with the flip option but it won't record flipped so I physically gutted the cameras and I'll show another video on how I did that real quick and I took the night vision out of some of these because um, <clears throat> the windows here are UV coated I guess and uh, they reflect the UV light back into the camera so I, I've moved the UV lights outside or the alt night vision lights outside the apartment so I can see out there with much better uh, views so that's it for this um, that's pretty much it um, that's installing a safe and you know cameras in apartment I don't know what I'm gonna call it oh oh yeah one thing one other thing here hold on um, the Wi-Fi aspect of it is pretty good let me get this up here going Off, so you don't sound. Here we go. This is outside. This is my tablet, and I can monitor this anywhere or a cell phone or whatever. So, there you go. And it has all the functions of the main thing, too. So, there you go. All right, uh, please rate and subscribe. This is North Carolina Prepper. How to do you know cameras and DVR and safe, I guess. All right, thank you.